All right, very good. My name is Bruce Albrecht. I'm a volunteer Sunday school teacher with uh, St. Peter Lutheran Church down here in Afton, Minnesota and stuff. And uh, I have four students in my group uh, this year and stuff. Uh, Avery and Cortland, Silas and Maggie B. Uh, uh, and stuff. So they are the fifth and sixth graders. So this will be going out to all the Sunday school students and their families and things so uh, I've got some younger kids in there and stuff uh, this coming up usually what I do is when I uh, start my Sunday school class I will ask the student, uh, students something about the uh, uh, sermon that Pastor uh, David uh, spoke about something maybe about the gospel that uh, somebody read or uh, something about the church uh, calendar year uh, it's coming up 31st of May is Pentecost and uh, the color of the uh, uh, pyramids and things uh, is red. You know, one of our Sunday school teachers, uh, Paul, uh, Paul uh, will take and talk to his students, uh, Sunday school students, about the different colors of the different seasons of the church. Uh, he's got the smaller kids and, and stuff. Uh, and. Uh, he gets the colors across and things. Uh, with the Pentecost and things, uh, there's symbols that uh, show up. The apostles uh, had a flame of fire on top of their head and stuff. They spoke languages and they, they preached to different uh, people of different cultures and countries in their own language. <clears throat> this was a miracle and stuff. And usually, our DCE uh, Tony will take and have a, a children's uh, sermon and stuff, children's lesson. And a couple of Sundays ago, he talked about the triune God. Uh, and uh, I would ask my students, uh, uh, the triune God is, is three persons in one uh, one uh, being. One, and I would ask them what they were. And that's the Father, Son, and then the Holy Spirit. And, which uh, one would be in Pentecost, and that would be the Holy Spirit with the uh, with the flame. Uh, the Holy Spirit uh, descended on uh, Jesus Christ uh, at his baptism and stuff, and it was in the form of, and then I would kind of pull that out of him, uh, and it would be the form of a dove, uh, birds, and today ornithology, or the study of birds, uh, I had been a uh, outdoor environmental educator for 36 years with St. Paul Schools, and I like to teach outside uh, and stuff. Uh, the dove. Uh, uh, the dove was depicted uh, in uh, uh, Noah taking and sending out first the raven uh, two times and came back nothing and, and stuff, and then uh, sent out the dove. and. It, Dove came back with a green olive branch saying that there was uh, dry land and uh, everything was good and they could get off the boat. So taking that into account, uh, we, in my view anyhow, I view the uh, raven as kind of a thief and uh, taking shiny things, uh, taking uh, my keys off uh, the picnic table and putting them into their nests and things. and. And the dove being a, a nice bird, uh, magicians will take and take and pull them out of hats and things, and they're usually white. Uh, and white is a thing for purity and, and uh, friendship and stuff. Uh, taking a different look at the uh, crows or the ravens, uh, they are the cleanup committee that clean up the roadkill on the highways and, and keep the carrion from uh, giving us diseases and things. So shines another light on uh, the bird uh, world. The uh, uh, pigeon, the city pigeon or dove, uh, you can make an awful mess uh, on buildings and, and sidewalks and things. And, and uh, if you're not worth, uh, watching too closely, uh, if you're sitting on your patio on the roof or whatever, uh, you got to take and guard your coffee and things because they deposit things in it. So 
taking a look at the pigeon and the raven or the crow in two different lights. Uh, uh, people form opinions uh, very quickly, very quickly. Uh, I uh, have in my own yard uh, some small wrens. Uh, the wren is a small bird, brown bird on the side there and stuff. Uh, this uh, bird will take and uh, go into birdhouses, whether there's eggs in them or not, and uh, take and kick everything out, uh, even sometimes small birds and things. And uh, So I had been taking around uh, my yard. I've got uh, several bluebird houses or um, uh, nuthatch houses. Uh, no tree swallows. Tree swallows will usually take one of the bluebird houses and they eat insects, uh, mosquitoes. I don't like mosquitoes or gnats. So these are beneficial birds. I uh, got uh, a bad feeling for the wrens though and things. Uh, and uh, just the other day, I was over at my neighbor's helping her with the leaves and things and uh, raking them up and putting them in. And we had took a break and stuff and we were leaning up the rakes and I go, oh, there's a hawk. It was a hawk that landed in the trees. It was a uh, Cooper's hawk or a sharp-shinned hawk. A small, small hawk. Uh, like it catches birds out of the air and uh, uh, will take and uh, eat them. And uh, the neighbor goes, Bruce, get your gun. Shoot it, shoot it. And I go, wait a minute. First of all, it's illegal to kill a bird of prey, a hawk and stuff. Uh, it's illegal to take even feathers and stuff that we find on the ground. But uh, in my mind, the hawk was good. In her mind, it was bad because it was chasing the birds away from her feeder and, and things like this. Uh, so I took a different viewpoint even at my wrens that are in the yard. Uh, the Lord has made uh, all creatures great and small. And we have to take and... Uh, sometimes take the good with the bad. Uh, also with people, we can take and take this and, and uh, put it onto the values that we have for people and things. And uh, in this day and age, uh, with things that are going on in the world, <clears throat> right now we have to take the good with the bad. and. We do not punish, the Lord will punish in the end and things and, and stuff, but we have to take a different viewpoint at different people in the world as we see it. Uh, with this pandemic and things that are going on, uh, the young people that I will be teaching in some Sunday school will have a different world to live in uh, other than I and uh, being an old person and stuff, I am adapting very uh, reluctantly, but very quickly to the uh, situation that's around me too. So I hope everybody is safe and healthy and uh, looking forward to when we can get together again. Thank you.